Greetings and salivations, everyone! I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today is a Baby Yoda Territory video, and I've got a question from one of our viewers, I've got a mail call, and I have a pair of The Child sneakers to review for you, so stay tuned. And if you love Grogu and The Mandalorian as much as we do and don't want to miss seeing in our reviews, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Got a few things to do for you guys today. So I'm going to start with the viewer question. It's fake quig, sir. I don't know if I said that right or not, but here is the question right here. Pretty much just wants to know if there is a name for fans of our YouTube channel. And yes, I do. I do have a nickname for you guys. I call you guys Radsters. So yeah, if you are a fan of our videos here on C-Rad, you all are known as Radsters in my book. Because y'all are totally rad. Yep, just sweet and simple like that. So I hope that answers your question. Guys, again throw questions in the comments. I really, I promise I'm going to try to do better at them. Honestly, when I do my videos, I just, I start going and sometimes I forget. So, yes, questions, throw them at me. I'm hoping to do a live someday, working on getting the right camera set up for that, so stay tuned for that as well. But I also have a mail call for you guys today, and my friend Lene sent me something in the mail and Fisher immediately stole it, but I wanted to share it with you guys. It's this really cool crocheted blankie. She's like the crochet queen. Guys, she made that little crochet hat that I wear sometimes in the videos, you know, with the floppy Baby Yoda bunny ears. That is actually my favorite hat, and I love it, and I wish I could live in it year-round. <laughs> but I can't, but I do wear it any chance that I can get. But yes, this crochet blanket right here, she actually dyes the yarn herself, and she said the original name of this color here and pattern, it's got little orange in it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. She said it was called Mother's split pea soup or mom split pea soup, but she thought it needed another name. So guys, throw us some names in the comments and see if we can get a different name than split pea soup for this awesome color. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. But along with the blanket, she also sent the little Baby Yoda Valentine's candy tin. I was like, ooh, candy! And then I realized, no, that's been opened. So I was like, oh, it's taped on the side. Let's see what's in it. And guys, when I opened it up, she crocheted this little dude for me. How super cute is that? Now, she did this from that little Star Wars crochet kit, and it's actually originally supposed to be a Yoda. So she had to modify him a little bit to make him a little Grogu crochet. But I think he's totally awesome, and his little yarn is so soft, and he's soft and squishy. So yeah, he's definitely getting a place of honor back here in all of my Baby Yoda stuff. I love him, Lene. Thank you so, so much. I just, you always, it was a nice surprise, because I didn't know this stuff was coming. So yay, it was fun to get a little surprise in the mail. Okay guys, so let's get on to the sneakers. Now I've bought stuff from this website in the past, so I actually got a little email ad that popped up that said, hey, these are an exclusive, so come check them out. And I was like, okay, yeah, those are just look totally rad. And guys, look at this. How super adorable are these? Now these are an officially licensed product. They are not just handmade sneakers. And you can get these at fun.com. Now I love them. They're super soft. The material, it's like a pleathery vinyl type material. How cute are the heads on the tongues there? They are just, oh, super adorable. And look at the print on the side, guys. I love it. I love the black and green together. They are so super cute and they look like they're going to be super comfortable, but guys, they don't fit. I know. I'm like, ah, oh. I'm like so devastated by this because I was looking forward to getting these so much and it took them just under a week to get here to me 
and right now they're sold out in pretty much all sizes. They're supposed to be a unisex shoe and I ordered the women's size 8 which is a men's size 6 which I always order but guys they are like super thin and my toes are literally right here and curled up a little bit in them. Now I know I've seen some other people have gotten them and they're like oh they're so comfortable but I don't know did they know to order a size up? I didn't. There was nothing on the website that said that they ran small. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to return these guys and wait for them to get more available in a size or maybe even two sizes up. I might actually go with a woman's size 10 on this because guys, look look how thin they are. <laughs> these are definitely for super, super skinny feet, guys. I mean, I have a normal size foot. I don't wear a wide, but yeah, these, I got them on, but super duper tight. But it does look like they are getting more on their website next to a couple of the sizes. It does say email me, notify me when they get more in stock. So yes, sadly, I'm going to have to return these and keep my fingers crossed that they get the next two sizes in so I can check them out. Cost on them, if you want to keep an eye out on them, is $39.99. So rating these on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, the shoe itself is totally rad. The looks of it, the comfort, if it was actually to fit. When I did have it on my foot, yeah, the sides, the material is very soft. It didn't feel like it was going to rub on the back of my heel, but again, I can't tell that until I can get a pair that actually fits and wear them around a little bit. Size-wise, just because they are small, I'm going to have to rate it just a little bit under a rad on the size there, guys. So yeah, just a heads up, if you're going to order these, go a size up. And if you wear thick socks, go two sizes up. So has anybody else ordered these and they actually fit them very well? I, if you have, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I'll be returning these and waiting for the others to come into stock. So I was just looking at the cute little dude that Lene made for me and I was like, oh, my little frog lady, he's like the perfect size to go with her. How super cute is that, guys? I love it. And if you missed the video on her, I'll put it right there so you can watch it when you're finished this video if you'd like to. And I've got more super fun things like this coming up in the future. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad The Child and The Mandalorian things in the future, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say. Right, little dude? We'll see you later.